As the end of the season approaches, the F1 circus again goes halfway around the world to South America. The Brazilian Grand Prix is one of the toughest on the F1 calendar. The 4.3 km circuit at Interlagos, which means between the lakes, is very demanding on the driver. Immediately after the start comes the first key corner, the legendary Senna S. The drivers need total concentration here in order to stay with their opponents. And beware, the front left wheel can often lock here, as the change in load on the car is so great. Leaving the corner, the drivers need to get back quickly onto the throttle and build up momentum onto the Reta Aposta straight. Otherwise, at the end, in corner four, you become easy prey for your rivals. Despite lots of work having been carried out on the Autoromo Jose Carlos Pace, it's still a bone-shaking track with a fair few perils. For example, the challenging anti-clockwise race direction and the constant ups and downs. Here in the infield, no less than five tight corners follow in succession. Shift down, steer in and then flat out again. Just one small error can result in position losses or flying off into the gravel. Through a fast left-hander, it's then uphill once again and into the final corner. And it's a legendary one, at least since last year when Lewis Hamilton overtook Timo Glock here to clinch the championship title in the very last seconds. That was the first lap at Interlagos, but the drivers have 70 more to go.